So I was hunting for a wild, shiny golisopod. And as I was running around looking for one to encounter, a random Rotom decides to ambush me. Because, you know, Rotoms are really fast. If they see you, they just sip through really fast and catch up to you. But this Rotom was actually shiny. So enjoy the encounter and capture. <laughs> Seeing as I captured a shiny Rotom, I decided to look for the way to change Rotom's form in-game so that I could enjoy a shiny Rotom in all of its different forms. So this is going to be a brief guide so that if you want to know how to change Rotom's form as well, then here you go. So the first thing you have to do is go to Wyndham, the last city that you reach, and go to the Pokemon Center. Fly to it, the first one that you can go to, and then follow where I go on the video. And when you get to the building that I get to, that I enter, enter the building and there will be a guy in there. All you have to do is talk to him. He will talk to you about the Rotom forms. And then he'll challenge you to a battle where he will use Rotom forms himself. Not a hard battle. They're just level 34. Beat him. And once you beat him, he will give you the catalog, which will allow you to... It'll go into your key items and then you go to it. You interact with it, and then you can select what form you want your Rotom to transform into, including just base Rotom. And then once you select the form, you select any Rotom in your party, and it'll do the transformation for you. So now, enjoy Shiny Rotom in all of its different forms. And that's the video. It's funny that I wanted to find a shiny Golisopod and instead I found a shiny Rotom. Or rather, shiny Rotom found me. But hey, I'm not going to complain. It's still a shiny Pokemon. It's a cool shiny Pokemon. And the whole reason why I was looking for a shiny Golisopod in the first place was so that I could complete a full team of competitive shinies for online battles. And the Rotom forms are very good in competitive battling, meaning that I will be able to use that Rotom to complete my team. Which form I use depends on what my team needs as far as counters to their weaknesses. But yeah, it's going to be a useful addition to the team. So I just wanted to share the encounter and capture of the shiny Rotom. I took the chance to also make a quick guide on how to change Rotom's form in-game. And also to showcase shiny Rotom in all of its different forms. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. 
If you did, drop a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos, including guides and more shiny Pokemon. Subscribing and dropping a like are the best Christmas gifts you can give to me. So, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas.